Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sandeep Badan. So let us discuss some questions from abdomen topic. Question number one, if you ligate the common hepatic artery, it will impair blood supply in? Answer is right gastric and right gastroepiploic choice A will be our answer. Why? Because if you see this way, this is the common hepatic artery. If you ligate this one, there will be yes, right gastric artery involved, right gastroepiploic artery because it will involve gastroduodenal as well as even fact hepatic artery as well the proper hepatic artery which will give right and left hepatic artery all this area of distribution will be affected which of these will drain into ivc left gonadal and left suprarenal they drain into left renal vein right ascending lumbar that means l1 and l25 uh, these vein nules they will be uh, these veins together they become ascending lumbar vein and they will be draining into agigous vein and uh, c will be our answer because both left and right inferior phrenic vein will drain into ivc now how the pelvic splanting now let me tell you splanting means visceral okay usually splanting we use greater lesser and least those are the sympathetic and to make it easy p for pelvic p for parasympathetic so these are the parasympathetic nerves so they are not coming from L2, L3, L4, rather they are coming from S2, S3 and S4. Okay, so S2 to S4 is the range and they have nothing to do with the sympathetic. So answer will be C. They convey parasympathetic, okay, to inferior hypogastric plexus. About this plexus, now you'll come to know because look at this name of the nerve, nervi erigendus. Now let me tell you one thing. Uh, in our whole body system, evacuations and secretions are done by parasympathetic except reproductive system where ejaculation is done by sympathetic. If ejaculation is done by sympathetic, what's the role of para? Parasympathetic will be doing erection. Now look at the name of the nerve, nervi erigenitis means nerve for erection of genitals means it is parasympathetic. Yes, if it is parasympathetic, it will be autonomic. Parasympathetic S234. We got our answer D. But what is this plexus to make it further easy and rememberable S for superior S for sympathetic. This is the plexus for sympathetic. That means we have one more hypogastric plexus inferior hypogastric plexus that will be the plexus for parasympathetic. As I said, actually there is overlap, but uh, predominantly this is how they behave. Okay. Next question, the patient like this having colic pain and you have to find out which one is wrong the pain of the gallstone is because of the it is trying to get rid of that's why there is a spasm of the muscle so a choice d choice in fact the referred pain it can it is variable a c is also correct but look at this how it will be reached will it be superior mesenteric plexus now to give you the concept our like body wall will be getting the sympathetics along with the nerves which they get the supply like uh, we have the radial nerve, median nerve, etc. They will be carrying their own fibers along with that. This, uh, autonomic fibers will be also delivered by the MIs. But uh, for the viscerals, they will be getting along the blood vessels. Okay, so for the gallbladder, it gets the blood supply from which distribution? Celiac trunk distribution or superior mesenteric distribution? Answer is celiac trunk because we have just now seen also that hepatic artery, all those branches, this distribution. So superior mesenteric plexus will be responsible for all the structures of mid gut. That's why B is our answer. Now this artery has been labeled say tortuous artery going above the pancreas reaching up to spleen. It is splenic artery. So what question is this about the marked artery? Means splenic artery it is tortuous. Yes, we have seen. It's a branch of celiac tongue. Yes, we know. It is going to supply the greater curvature. Yes, but the branches will anastomose freely. No. Branches are end arteries, they do not anastomose freely. Next question, the patient is having the pain in both legs and sex life is also affected. So we are looking at external iliac artery which are responsible for the lower limb and internal iliac artery for the pelvic. He is having all the problems. So it is because of the iotoiliac junction is involved where the iota bifurcates into two common iliac artery. Okay. When the iota will bifurcate into two common iliac artery and this common iliac artery will further divide into external and internal iliac artery. So this is the site of obstruction here. Okay. So arteriography revealed blockage in the region of bifurcation. Yes. Gradual blockade. Yes. And 
बिकॉज दिस इज इनसफिशियंट दैट्स वाई क्लोरिकेशन येस बट ओनली राइट कॉमन इलेक आर्टरी कैन नॉट जस्टिफाई बी इज फॉल्स नाउ दिस पेशेंट इज हैविंग एल ई डी इन्वॉल्वमेंट ओके एंड द बाईपास हैज बिन डिसाइड फॉर द बाईपास यूजली नाउ इट इज प्रेफर्ड इज द मेमरी ग्राफ्ट लाइक इंटरनल मेमरी ग्राफ्ट लाइक आर्टीरियल ग्राफ्ट इज प्रेफर्ड बट द क्वेश्चन इज वेन इफ एट ऑल द सर्जन goes for the like graft uh, vein that is great saphenous vein then it can be procured where the vein travels in the medial leg and the medial thigh and terminates just intralateral to the pubic tubercle where we have the saphenous opening where it will pierce the cribriform uh, fascia to reach the femoral vein so usually it is uh, taken either in the medial leg or in this position so c will be the answer now this is one tricky thing that we can know that transverse abdominis does not make any cover and transverse abdominis is number 2 and only one choice where we do not have to is c but anyway let's look at this a is what external spermatic fascia given by external oblique yes matches b will be cremastic fascia given by internal oblique matches and internal fascia that will is fascia transversalis so that will be our answer Now, lymphatic drainage of the glans penis. Now, let me tell you, the penis as a whole will be draining into a superficial, okay, inguinal lymph node, which is horizontal medial group, particularly. But glans will be draining into deep. Which one? That is lymph node of Cloake. That is the deep group. Okay, there it is going to drain. Similarly, the scrotum will drain into the superficial group only, but the testes will drain into pre and para aortic lymph nodes. Next question: The patient is having a uh, pain because of one structure which is present with in the inguinal canal along with the spermatic cord that is ilio inguinal nerve c will be the answer now radial uh, radiography is with the carcinoma of the left kidney so basically the testicular vein is affected and straight forward it will lead to varicose seal this is how the varicose seal will look like look at compare the normal vein and compare the varicose congested hai na when you examine these small small venules will be felt the feeling will be like bag of worms that's a typical feeling associated with the varicose seals now the next question is the patient is having some complaints and there is a mass in the descending column but if you at all you are surgically removing this mass you will ligate which artery means indirectly what artery is going to supply descending colon inferior mesenteric artery which is going to supply the hindgut region cystic artery comes from the right hepatic yes between the common hepatic duct and cystic duct this is where we get the triangle this is where we get the artery right so basically we have got this between the common hepatic duct as well as cystic duct we have the artery present regarding inguinal canal which is correct so we can see that external oblique is making the boundary anteriorly all throughout posteriorly it is made by fascia transversalis but arching of the arching of the second and third layer we can see internal oblique and transverse abdominis they make the roof and then they make conjoint tendon that is also present posteriorly but for a very brief period it is there in the medial aspect and who is there in the floor that is inguinal ligament makes the floor so now let's go back transverse abdominis anteriorly no it is not in the anterior internal oblique and transverse abdominis together they make the roof yes that is very much correct they make arching so b will be the answer external oblique was making anterior wall and the fascia transverse ligament was making posterior wall who was making the floor inguinal ligament so b will be the answer over here and dear friends that was all thank you so much everyone god bless you all